Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for stopping by. And today we're going to talk about gadgets. Most importantly, the OnePlus watch uh, just got dropped off by FedEx. So let's open this, take a look. Uh, I am the man with two watches, so I've tried out a few smart watches over the years. And I'm really curious about this first edition by OnePlus. I've watched a few other reviews, done some reading, and I want to know if it lives up to the hype. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's open it. Here we go. A box within a box. Nice. We'll just make a small incision here. It is a really long box. I mean, look at that. Holy cow. Is there another tag? Nope. Here we go. My favorite part. And there it is. App list, main menu, function key. Ooh, it's nice and cold. That nice cold sensation of stainless steel. And let's see, what else inside the box? Nice pull tab. More pull tab. Whoa. A really long instruction manual that I'm not going to read because it's all online and with bigger font. One plus watch and the charging cable. Nice. So let's take a look at the watch here. There a tab. Has a nice weight to it. The band's nice, pliable, heart rate sensor, oxygen detection. They weren't kidding about that, that polished steel. And if we zoom in, yes, you can read the OnePlus logo. Okay, the power button's in the lower right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's choose English. Download OnePlus Health app. Okay, well, let's do that. Now I am lucky, I still have my OnePlus 9 Pro. So we're going to, we're going to connect to that and, oh, that was easy. Did y'all see that? Let's try that again. It popped right up. Hmm. One plus health, install. So I did have a notification and it popped up and then it just vanished. I bet if I go to Bluetooth, Pair new device, OnePlus Watch, DE5D. Pair, and it says pairing. Funny how it shows up as headphones, but here's the OnePlus Health, health statement. OnePlus Health is a personalized fitness app that records and analyzes your workout and health stats, etc., etc. I'm a male. Hang on a sec. So hopefully you know the calibration. The this is kind of cool how it kind of wiggles. I don't know what my weight in kilograms is, so I'm gonna guess. I can always change that later. Allow, allow, 
Turn on location. Yes. Oops. Oh, I have to fix that. So go into app info, permissions, location, allow all the time. There we go. Call logs, allow, camera, allow by using the app, phone, allow, and contacts, allow. There we go. Add device, add now. One plus watch, D E five D. Preparing. A pairing request has been sent to your phone. One plus watch paired. That was easy. Stay connected. Allow. Receive notifications. Allow. Allow access, allow access to health data. I'm going to wear it on my left. Setting up watch. We'll fast forward through this. One plus, lock the health app. Well, that AMOLED screen is gorgeous. Comes charged at 77%. Nice, there's the Bluetooth link. And yes, right off the bat, this reminds me of the Samsung Active, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. So there's the application, third-party apps, all right. Connected, shows the battery life, I like that. Watch faces, okay, there's quite a few. Let's try this, uh, let's try the Big digit, set his watch face. That was pretty quick. Let's try another one. Let's try the daily activity, set his watch face. All right, well, I'm gonna wear this, read about it a little more. I'll come back in a few hours. All right, good morning, so the morning after with the OnePlus watch, uh, this is how it looks on the wrist, I'll show another view. I like it, uh, I try to remove my opinions, which is really difficult, uh, especially when you're testing multiple uh, watches. Uh, case in point, the Garmin Enduro, which goes back today, sadly. And then this beast of a watch. Ugh. This is the, <laughs> it's a long name, the Tactics Delta Solar. I've also been testing this one, the Fossil Collider HR. And then this bad boy the OnePlus watch, first gen. So how do you test something without being opinionated? Well, I just try to keep an you know, open mind, take off my blinders, and right out of the gate, when I unboxed it, I really liked it. And uh, you, you saw the unboxing video. There are chapter shortcuts down below. I forget to mention that in my videos, I apologize. But uh, I'll go through after it's published and or maybe before sometime soon and you'll see the chapter heading so you can skip around and i i like it um <laughs> but uh, i'm having a couple of issues and i'm actually chatting with support uh right now about this and i'm going to share with you my top issues and then i'll tell you what i like about it so number one, the sleep data did not synchronize. So right around four o'clock or something, I woke and swiped over and looked at my sleep data. Whoops, there it is, there's my sleep data. And it was there, I'm like, oh great, it's working, it's tracking my sleep. So I quickly took a photo. I was real excited to see all the details. So I used the OnePlus 9 Pro I opened up the health app, nothing. There's nothing there. <laughs> the sleep data didn't synchronize. So that's kind of a 
big hiccup. Uh, number two, uh, yesterday I went for a treadmill run and there's no treadmill workout yet. They're promising, <laughs> do the air quotes, they're promising that all 110 workouts will be in a software update later in May. So sometime in the next month. Awesome. I, <laughs> so if I was releasing a smartwatch, I would have outdoor GPS, like walking and running. I would have, or just do like outdoor exercise, indoor exercise. And then, I don't know, I, treadmill seems like a really, really common workout to have not included on day one. I think that was a huge mistake, OnePlus. So I moved over 4,000 steps yesterday and I had almost 2,000 steps on the watch and last night at nine o'clock I looked down and it said 800. So the, where'd the steps go? So then I, sync, I looked on the health app and the health app read 1,972. So I'm like, okay, so I rebooted everything. I don't know where the steps went. Number three, um, at 2100, uh, I checked again and still the steps weren't there. So I, I don't know where the steps went, but the steps from the watch and the steps into the health app are not being saved correctly. Database issues when it comes to health tracking is a huge red flag. <laughs> Uh, number four, the floors climbed. So at first I was really disappointed. I like to track my flights of stairs. Uh, I'm talking to you in my basement office. So I'm, I'm going up and down stairs all day. I probably average 10, sometimes even 30 flights of stairs. And I like to track that. I think it's a fun health aspect and it, you know, it's good for your legs and your, your heart. Where's my heart? Right there. So the app, uh, you shouldn't display data on the website or in the app that's not on the watch. That's that's another huge pet peeve of mine. And number five, the user guide. There's an online user guide that you can access. Oh, I just got disconnected. That's great. Okay, well, I'll have to do that. All right, so there's a user guide on the website and it really looks like they just assigned it to an intern and the intern was a freshman in high school and that freshman in high school hasn't even taken any college courses yet. It's horrible. It's one of the worst user guides that I've ever read. Number six, and this is another big one. Test message only one cent. Put a little emoticon, pizza, cent. All right. So now in just a second, boom, it goes to the phone. Here's on the watch. Text message, just one cent. Test message, only one cent. It sends it twice. Bummer, right? When you send a text message, you, you get it on the watch and you can read it and you can clear it. You can't reply yet and that's something they could do in an update. That would be an easy fix, especially if you have it connected if you have OEM to OEM, if you have a OnePlus phone and you bought the OnePlus watch, I would really think they'd be able to do some canned replies. That's not available yet, and I am okay with that. At least you can see the text message. Well, the text messages are coming through duplicated. So you get a text message from your friend David, and it comes through twice. So you're thinking, wow, is he yelling at me? <laughs> is he mad? Uh, so there you go, there are six reasons not to buy the OnePlus watch. So now, let me scroll down, I'm trying to keep my videos organized. So number one, the price. There are not many smart watches that encompass all the features that this watch has for $159. So they gave me $20 off because I did the pre-order and then with shipping and taxes, I got it for $150. Still good. I this one with taxes was 175. The Enduro 700. This one was a thousand. So as far as smartwatches go, to buy a smartwatch that looks like this 
has the wonderful battery life, has that beautiful design, and then number three, the durability. Uh, it's, yeah, the durability is amazing. And the design, when you're looking at the watch, when it's on your wrist, you know, you're like, wow, I only paid 160 bucks for that? It's, it's pretty good. Sorry, a little parched. Okay, so number three, durability. <clears throat> it has that polished aluminum case. I'll uh, throw up the video that they have. They have this beautiful video that, that plays that shows how they designed the case and they, you know, they show someone polishing it by hand. It's, it's gorgeous. It really looks like another watch I'm thinking of. And I, and I don't like to compare things, but I do. It really looks like they were working with Samsung. When you put this on and you use it after a while, it's a combination between Wear OS and Tizen. Yeah. Uh, what else do I like? The watch face, the AMOLED screen. I mean, if you look at it, it's gorgeous, right? Isn't that great? I think it's beautiful. And the watch faces, there's a lot. I, I watched some of the reviews and many people were complaining about it, but really the watch faces are great. I'll review those in, later on in the video. Um, the other thing that I like is the weight of it. Um, when, you, when you buy a watch, you wanna feel that it's on your wrist. Uh, this one's probably one of the lighter smart watches I've ever tested. This is the hybrid one by Fossil, and it's it's almost too light. It's it's a really good weight. The other thing, some people were complaining, oh, it's too big. No, it's not. It's it's not too big. The bezel size is great. There are some other watches. When you look at bezels, if you look at that bezel right there, do you see the screen to bezel ratio? Blah. I really liked the Polar Grit at first, but not so much anymore because of many reasons. That's another video. The screen to bezel ratio, they did a great job. I even like that they did the the name print on OnePlus. So they did a little, little branding there with the OnePlus on the button. You can, you can even feel the texture. That's a nice touch. The band is great. I like that it's just a standard 22 millimeter band. So I have some other 22 meter bands that I can swap out. They definitely copied Apple on the band. That's that's a huge thing. But the band's nice. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like it just came out of the rubber silicone factory. And at night and inside, the watch face is really visible. So is the screen, so are the apps. The scrollability is really good. Hopefully you can see that. You just scroll right through all the widgets. You can customize the widgets. They did a good job. Now, as far as can you install third-party apps? Not yet. I'm thinking version two, so maybe next year. And the weather works. Everything just works. Um, I haven't figured out how to convert it to Fahrenheit. Everything's in Celsius. Uh, so it's more geared towards Canada and Europe and everyone else that uses uh, the metric system except for US, I think. <laughs> but that's not a big deal because I understand Celsius and, and all that stuff. But um, the, the hiccup, the, the main stumbling block that I can't get over is the loss of data. If there were trouble synchronizing, like, oh, you just need to restart the app once a week, I'd be okay with that. But if the watch fails to communicate with another OnePlus phone, I don't know if I can overlook that. And um, I have a friend that wanted to buy this from me after I unboxed it and reviewed it. I don't know that I can sell it to him because I don't know if I can remember this yet. I'll get back to you. So there it is, there's the OnePlus watch. I'm filming on the OnePlus 9. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. To change the watch face, you just do a long press. And then you just scroll, red velvet, gradient. Now if you see this little icon right there at the bottom, you can click on that 
and then you can change the gradient color. Ooh. And then you just tap on it and the watch is selected. Now, whether or not the watch face is in military time or just standard time, that's going to depend on the watch face. Um, my phone is in military time, but some of the watch faces are AM PM instead. Like this new one I downloaded, if I can get to it. I want there to be a scroll wheel right here. If they would have done a bezel, that would have been awesome. And then to add new watch faces, you have to open up the app. I'll show that in another video. As far as this is my uh, hotkey that I program for measuring stress. So I have to relax. So now it's measuring my stress. Still measuring. And if you're thinking this is slow, other watches take this long as well. And this is gonna be based on heart rate and other info. So that's kind of cool. So now I can swipe right, there's my sleep widget. Now I can't click on that, and right now there's an issue that it's not syncing to my phone, so I can't show you more than that. Yeah. And making phone calls, yes, you can make phone calls. So I can just dial 801-794. I can't remember who. Okay, made a slight error there. I, uh, <laughs> I tried to make a phone call from the watch while I was filming on the OnePlus 9 Pro and it ended the video. That was fun, so let's try that again. Let's call OnePlus support. So 833 3633 Dial. This way you'll be able to hear the, hear the speakerphone quality. Thank you for calling OnePlus customer support. Language options. For English service, please press 1. For Spain service, please press 2. Gracias por llamar al servicio de atención al cliente de One. Not bad. En este momento, no podemos atender. So now, vuelve a llamar de lunes a viernes. You can Toma control the volume. A F A M. Estaremos en contacto. And then, if I want to just change the call, right here on the One Plus phone. I just click, and just like that, Gracias por llamar y que tenga un buen now día. it's transferred. Oh, and it hung up on me. Well, that's a bummer. So there you go. You can make phone calls, and when you go into the phone app, you can go to uh, Recent Calls, and it'll show all those as well. And if you swipe to the right, those this is your exercise widget. So at the top, we have Steps. And then we have calories burned. Um, I think that's activity minutes. I can't, I don't remember what that is. And then we have stress. And then I can do a quick workout freestyle. So pretty cool, right? And then if I swipe to the right, there's my weather widget. And that's it. Now, if you want to change your widget, widgets, you just do a long press, and then you can just delete. All right, shooting on the OnePlus 9 Pro again. Got it all cooled down. This is the band that came with, with <laughs> that came with the OnePlus watch. It is a 22 millimeter band, whereas with the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and Active and Active 2 LTE, it comes with a 20 millimeter. So to see the difference, well, it just doesn't quite fit. But I reviewed a watch band for Tick Watch last year. Uh, if your channel is still growing, once you get past a thousand subs, you start getting emails. When you get to 2000 subs, you get more emails. And people want you to review their stuff. Uh, TickWatch did not ask me to give a positive review. They just said, hey, review our band. And I like the band. I kept it. Gave it a nice review on Amazon. And yeah, maybe they'll have me review more stuff. So there we go. A little splash of color. A little orange accent with the OnePlus watch. 
probably would be better red, you know, because that's the uh, the one plus way. But I don't know, the black band was. I like this one because it has the holes in it and it breathes well. Let's see how it looks on the old uh, wrist. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, I'm at 1,320 steps. I changed my shortcut to go to activities and I learned something. The blue is for steps. There's the blue. Workout is orange. I want you to get at least 30 minutes of working out each day. Energy use, so calories. And then also if you keep scrolling down, there's your activity. Keep scrolling. Floors, so I was wrong earlier. It does keep track of floors both on the watch and on the app. And it's doing a pretty accurate job. So it says 13, whereas Garmin, oh wow. Garmin is saying I only did six. I'll have to start keeping track and see uh, who's more accurate. Step count, Dolly, sorry. Step count, total steps in 24 hours, including daily walking, running outdoor walking, workout, okay, fast walking, running outdoor, walking with frequent steps, okay, energy use, consumption count, to your total cal okay, we know what calories are, activity during 24 hour day, whenever you get up, and some activities over a certain distance per hour, count it as one minute, great, so vacuuming, stuff like that, Go ahead and check the mail. Distance and stair climbing. Distance, it counts the distance you have walked and produced by various workouts, number of floors climbed, converted based on the height you've climbed, data sources, etc., etc. Well, that's pretty cool. So I'm glad it does both count the flights of stairs and it shows it to you. Again, you can do the activities right there and then you just have to scroll all the way down. I'm liking the watch more. We'll see if I get any more data loss. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today on the OnePlus watch. I'm going on hour 30 something with this. Yeah, actually no. It's almost been exactly 24 hours since I've had the watch. Uh, I've contacted support. We'll see what they say about the hiccups that I've encountered, bugs, whatever you want to call them, and data loss. But I am liking it more today than I did during the first 12 hours. Yeah, maybe that's a moot point. Type pithy comments, type those down below. And yes, there are chapter headings down below as well if you want to skip around to different parts. And the mantra, numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. Thank you so much for your support. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.